Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Yesterday Google released Android 16 Developer Preview 2 and I have it here on my Pixel 9 Pro XL but unfortunately I couldn't make the video yesterday because I'm on a vacation and this is not my main studio but anyways late is better than nothing so let me show you what's new. Before starting, let me tell you that I uploaded these 24 new wallpapers to the Wallpapers by In-Depth Tech Reviews app that you will find its Google Play Store download link in the description. And now, let me show you the new features in Android 16 Developer Preview 2. Right off the bat, let me give a quick heads up for those who are running Android 16 Developer Preview 1. Yesterday, I tried to update my 8 Pro using a PC to apply the OTA update of Developer Preview 2, but my phone entered into a boot loop. And after some trial and error, I found that you have to install Android 15 QPR2 Beta 2 first to be able to safely migrate to Developer Preview 2 of Android 16. So here is what I did. After my phone went into a boot loop, I entered the recovery mode again using the physical buttons and installed QPR2 Beta 2 OTA image and then installed the Android 16 Developer Preview 2 image and everything is back to normal now which is kind of weird because my phone was already on Android 16. First, it did allow me to install Android 15 QPR2 Beta 2, which is one version older, and that was the only way to move safely to Android 16 Developer Preview 2. The first thing to talk about is the Keep Notes app, as it got three new changes with this build. Number one, it's now considered as a system app, so you don't have the option to uninstall it like all other apps, plus, when you go to the wallpaper and the style app and then go to the lock screen shortcuts, now you have the ability to choose the note taking option. We saw this option many times before in previous betas, but it never worked. Now, when you tap and hold on it, it will take you to this page saying coming soon and giving you a quick shortcut to open keep notes. And that's all it does for now. So hopefully the app will get updated in the future. The third change is under settings. Now when you go to apps and then default apps, you will see that the notes app is now available. So you can choose a different default note taking app if you have one installed on your device or you can set it to none. Another minor change is related to the cloud media photo picker. Now you can see this banner at the top that can help you change your Google account or you can tap on dismiss to remove it. Now let me show you the new changes under settings and the first one is related to the screen lock. Now when you go to settings and then security and privacy and then go to device unlock, then fingerprint and face unlock, then tap on fingerprint unlock and now you will see a new toggle here called the screen off fingerprint unlock which will allow you to unlock your phone even if the always on display is turned off which is something new to pixel phones. The only problem here is the screen is completely black and it doesn't give you any indication where to put your finger so you can use your muscle memory to rely on but other than this it's just a black screen which is a bummer and by the way this feature doesn't exist on my pixel 8 pro i'm not sure why this is just a one year older phone and this is just a simple feature so hopefully google will add it to more pixel phones in the future also keep in mind that this build includes all the new features of android 15 qpr2 beta 2 which i already mentioned in my previous video that you can see right here on the screen other than this android 16 developer preview 2 is more about under the hood improvements rather than new features so let's take a look at what we got the first one is the predictive back updates which will allow the developers to implement the predictive back gesture in their own apps using a new api next we have richer haptics Google released new APIs with Android 16 that will allow apps to define the amplitude and the frequency curves of haptic effect, which will give more control and make the haptics even better in third-party apps with Android 16. Google also added some new performance and battery APIs that help developers collect certain types of data to improve their apps of performance and battery consumption, things like the system triggered profiling, start component in application start info, better job introspection. So these are very technical for this video. So I'm gonna leave the article link in the description if you want to go through them yourself. But the most important one we have here is called the adaptive refresh rate. If you don't know already, Android 15 is the first Android version that supports adaptive refresh rate, which adjusts the display refresh rate based on the app content to save battery life. With Android 16, Google made it easier for the developers to take advantage of adaptive refresh rate, which means 
the more the usage in apps, the better battery life we will get over time. Google also improved the security of the Wi-Fi ranging feature we first got with Android 15. In a nutshell, the Wi-Fi ranging improves the location tracking indoors where the GPS signal is not available to make it more precise. With Android 16, Google added better security by using the Wi-Fi 6's 802.11az, which uses the AES-256 based encryption, and that will make your connection with nearby devices more secure, like unlocking a laptop or a vehicle door. Moving to the photo picker improvements, you will find two things here. The first one we already got with developer preview one, but what's new here is the cloud search in photo picker, which will allow users to search for media even if it's backed up to the cloud, but this feature is coming soon. So these are the top under the hood improvements of Android 16 developer preview two. Now let's talk about the bug fixes. Starting with the developer reported issues, there is a fix for an issue that sometimes caused the screen brightness on a device to be set to 0% when the device was woken up. And I did experience this issue a few times on my Pixel 8 Pro and I'm glad it's fixed with developer preview too. Then we have a fix for an issue that caused the terminal app to display a no local assets error when launched. Beside the bug fixes, we still have some known issues that are yet to be fixed. The first one is a simulated touch events fail when using ADB or accessibility services. Tapping on an ongoing media notification sometimes fails to launch the corresponding app. And finally, on some devices, the camera screen sometimes flashes if the zoom level is adjusted while recording video. The last thing to talk about in this video is the performance. And all the recent updates I'm getting from Google on my Pixel 9 Pro XL and the 8 Pro, either of the are QPR1, QPR2, or Android 16, are very stable. And I didn't come across any major issues. And I was able to daily drive these builds without any problems. You might come across some bugs here and there, but nothing is major. And beside this, if you are curious about my Geekbench score after installing this build, I got a multi-core score of 4700 and a single core score of 1972, which is slightly higher than QPR2 Beta 2. So that's pretty much it for today. These are all the new changes I wanted to show you in Android 16 Developer Preview 2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.